Okay, so the next problem we're going to look at, we're going to graph by using the definition of absolute value. And like we've done in the past, the first thing you want to do is isolate the absolute value. So get this absolute value piece all by itself. And the way I'm going to do that is by adding 2 to both sides. So that gives me y plus 2 equals the absolute value of 3x plus 6. Once I have the absolute value piece isolated, I'm going to break this up into two separate equations using the definition of absolute value. I know y plus 2 can equal 3x plus 6. But I also know that y plus 2 can equal the opposite of what's in the absolute value, which is negative 3x minus 6. That's right from the definition of absolute value, which we have used before. And now what I want to do is isolate y in both of these. So I'll get y by itself here. So I subtract 2 from both sides. That gives me y equals 3x plus 4. If I subtract 2 from both sides here, that gives me y equals negative 3x minus 8. And now look what I have here. I have two separate linear models. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph both of these linear models on a coordinate plane. And then we're going to be ready to go. And we can all graph linear models on the coordinate plane. This should not be difficult. So I'm going to start with 3x plus 4. So I go up to 4, my y-intercept. Slope of 3, rise over run, tells me to go up 3, right 1. So from here I'm going to go up 3, right 1. But I don't draw a line. What I want to do right now, instead of drawing a line, I'm going to draw a dashed line through these points. And you'll see why in a minute. So that is the graph of y equals 3x plus 4. Now I'm going to graph y equals negative 3x minus 8. That's got a y-intercept of negative 8, which is right here. Slope of negative 3. Well, negative 3 means I could go down 3, right 1, but I could also go up 3, left 1. I mean, that means the same thing. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go up 3, left 1. And now I've got my two points, and through those two points, I'm going to draw a dashed line. And the reason why I draw dashed lines is because I have to figure out here in the end what part is my answer. Is it this V that's opening upward, or is it this V that's opening downward? And in order to do that, I look at the original function right here. And I ask myself, are we positive or negative out front? Since we're positive, I know this function has to open upward, which means it is the top part of the V that is my answer. So that part right here is the graph of y equals 3x plus 6 minus 2.